Yes. Welcome to Squad Community Cup Season 5, Week Number 3. This is the final match uh, for this week, for Week Number 3. Um, there is still one match still to be played, and that's going to be uh, in uh, about 3-4 weeks' time in July. Tonight, we've got Hazaria fighting We Love Squad on Mutaha Advance and Secure B1. We're just going live now, and we're switching maps to take us into the action. Okay, so starting up the uh, started up the stream, we've got Mutaha, as you can see in front of us. Hazaria is on the Russian side, spawning down on this bottom left corner. Okay, the southwest corner. The We Love Squad team, obviously going to be on uh, the US side. And we'll uh, hop into Admin Cam in just a few moments. As you can see from the map, from US, Russia main, we go up to Vineyard School. Police station, then up to Main Street Blockade, then compound before we head into the US. The other night we saw the help team uh, get defeated 3 um, 0 by the Coalition Francophone team. Uh, very well played uh, by them. And there we go, we've already got some commanders. That's good. Did see Coalition Francophone forget a commander the other day. Um, but, you know, these things happen. So let's have a quick look at the vehicles for this map. So we've got the T-70, for the Russian side, uh, we've got the T-72, the BMP-2, the BTR-30mm, the BRDM-2 scout car, the MI-8 helicopter, and that's a recent addition uh, in terms of B-19 added uh, the helos onto uh, the Mutaha map. We've got three Logi trucks, and we've got the delayed spawn of the troop transport after six minutes. Just a reminder, the uh, the MBT will also be delayed by 20 minutes. For the US team, we've got the M1A2 Abrams, the M2A3 Bradley, IFE, the Striker, the three Logi trucks, troop transport delayed after six minutes, the MRAP, and we've also got the UH-60M Grouse. Again, also recently added. Looking at the map, it looks like the Wheel of Squad team are taking everything bar the MRAP. They're leaving that uh, back at main. And it looks like for Hazaria, they're taking everything except for the uh, scout car. Lots of move marks already on that map. As we can see, um, I'm expecting you know similar kind of tactics from what we saw the other night. It's going to be a case of we're going to see some people coming in from uh, in the helos to the southeast to the northwest of police station that's going to be pretty much for me a uh, a common uh, approach i don't know if there's going to be anything different we saw uh, help they didn't bother to use the helo for the whole of the first round um are they gonna you know are these teams going to use them i'd hope so um we'll, we'll have to see i'm expecting a lot of fighting a lot of action to be around the uh, police station um i'm not expect you know there's some good teams here they're both good teams will hazari be able to push wheel of squad back to main street blockade possibly i don't know wheel of squads could actually get a nice drop on school uh, it's all going to be uh starting in 30 seconds so just have a quick look, make sure there's no vehicle changes. So we've got almost, you know, 
uh, a full well we have got a full squad and just the pilot uh, there's the commander so Oslo is going to be the commander for the Russian side for the US uh, wheel of squad team ready is going to be the commander so we've got a little three man and a four man squad there and two people have they already allocated who's going in the tank no they haven't It'd be interesting to see if they take the two people out and there you go vehicles already starting off we are already in the center of the map so we're just going to have a quick look over at police station this is where all the action really is going to be i'm just checking i was actually in a squad there we go So we can hear the uh, we can hear them coming in. Okay, so the U.S. helos going a bit further west than I anticipated. Russian helos still a way out at the moment. In fact, he's coming all the way in. Nice landing there. He's got to be careful he doesn't lose his rotors. The Russian team, nothing they can do. The Americans, uh, we lost squad, managing to get into that camp. They need to get that helo out of there as quickly as possible. And uh, there's that radio down. We've got a Lodgy just coming there. Oh, and. Uh, can't see his name, says he won. And another Lodgy down. Wow. Well, only one Lodgy down. That wiped a full squad. Wow, what great start by Wheel of Squad. They got into the cab. They dropped with the helo fully into the cab. And the feet even started pushing over here. And here comes that for 30 mil. So, real strong start for Wheel of Squad. They're certainly uh, making a push. Oh, Tiller going down as he's crossing that road there. And looks like the 30 mil's just taken a. at least a lap, possibly a hat. Okay, just coming in now. So you can see Matty Mice there playing as a merc for his aria. I think he sees him, just doesn't have quite a clear shot on it. There we go, nice shot there, takes out Matty Mice. So Vineyard captured by the Russians. There's that have all important to get it back up. And wow, that helo, balls of steel, still coming in. And he's getting shot at by the BMP there. Clearly dropping off some supplies and Question now is, is he going to get out safely? The answer is no, he's not getting out safely, but he did do his job, he got the supplies in for these guys. And so do just flying around, keeping an eye out. Hilo taking down Zega there, I believe, from Nate. And Faux Cross taken out by Volstonator there. Uh, 
Będę miał kontakty na szkole od Norf... Oh, Tiller going down just as we zoom out. Zoloma moving it up. And, oh nice, we've got a Merc over there. Matrix managing to get into the cap zone. But school still not capped yet. There we go, school's just capped, and yep, Matrix managed to cap it. Uh, the reason he's able to cap that is because the, even though there's enemies in the cap zone, they have the uh, priority on cap. They've got to uh, the flag first. Um, we're still waiting for the US team to capture uh, Blockade, which... Yeah, they're still not done yet. It's been a little bit of a delay, not sure what's happened there. And that could give Hazaria the uh, advantage they need to get the cap before um, they start capping. Although Hazaria reinforcing that presence, they're on the hab already, that hab was neutralized, it still is actually. So that hab is neutralized. There's t uh, two people within close proximity. Hopefully they're going to get that taken down. And if they get that taken down, next job, finding that radio. And Main Street Blockade just been capped. And just purely because of the numbers, uh, it looks like Kazaria is still able to capture police station. Yep, still able to capture police station. But all we lift squad need to do is move more people into the cap just to stop them. There we go, the cap's neutral. Wheel of Squad and Hazaria not got that uh, advantage on each other yet. Very slow, no one's wanting to push, although Raya's making that push. Oh, and you can see the radio, you saw the radio from the other side of the road. He's on that radio now, that's going to be, if he gets that down completely, that's going to be a 10 ticket loss for We Love Squad. And right now, they've only just got gone into lead, and now they've just gone down. They've just lost that lead. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the Bradley out, we've got the striker. I mean, we're looking at um, tanks landing on the map in about four, um, what was it nine minutes time. Sorry, I'm starting off a bit shaky, losing that ha uh, that logic with a full squad in it. Um, that could have given Wheel of Squad a, a good opportunity, but right now, Azaria taking that lead. They've got the uh, central flag, they've got police station, they now need to work on getting that next flag. 323 tickets that's taking them up to, and with this radio going in just a few moments time, uh, we love squad to get me down to 275. I'm just having a little look, see where everyone is, see if there's anything exciting going on. I mean, Xenon coming in around... Looks like someone spotted him. So that radio's gone. Now the question is... Are they going to be pushing the next objective? Now if we do find uh, this match starts to uh, turtle up um, and just people stay on their defensive caps, then at 90 minutes this game will, will end, um, regardless of you know how many tickets are left. Trading 77, they're coming all the way up actually, making a nice little push. Now 
these mortars give them some good cover actually, managing to uh, take a couple of the guys out. That sounds like the Bradley's starting to move in. Just having a look to see if Sidhu was taking any people around to the uh, next flag. Talking about blockade, we've got the UAV out. In fact, both teams, both commanders have the UAV out. to do in the helicopter and that lat or hatch shot just not quite making it hitting the sand you know the bank just before the uh Bradley they got to the Bradley. and that's uh Buddha and Flauschiger heading right heading out there Obviously that place was not uh, as safe as he thought. Ah, there we go, squad 3 making a nice push. In fact, they've cleared almost all of the guys north of the police station. There's still three guys there. And Matrix and Twix playing as mercenaries for Pazaria. <laughs> Matrix trying to wiggle his way out of that one, but unfortunately not wiggling enough. Twix still alive though. So, looks like Focross trying to, I'm going to say, get Rally, I'm guessing, but uh, Tiller Mag Maticus oh, he was heading towards this area. I mean, he could burn the Rally without knowing. Tillo spotted them. Yep, one shot takes out Focross, and Tillo being taken out by head goes boom. Just keep a, an eye on those guys pushing on that opposite side. Let's see how they're doing. So, uh, Furbius making that push with these guys. It's taken out Anorax already. Oh, BMP spotted them. That's not good for your health. Looking back on police station, though, squads one for Wheeler squad now managing to push in just by the healer rack. And oh, Solotov going down to Flesho there. It's a nice little push, but this guy's going to get sandwiched. Oh. Oh, he gets both of them. So that was Jappa taking out both the medic and the person being revived. However, the person being revived did trade with him. So not not too bad for Jappa there. Oh, Twix and Zager. They're coming back in from this direction. 
Although, I say Trix is coming in from this direction, he's dead in this direction. Still yeah. alive though. They get that from the LMG up at uh, MCR. Um, trading though, s still alive. I think he's possibly playing dead. Marker, jakiś dokładniejszy. Na razie walę do tych gości, którzy są na tej szybach. To dobrze, to dobrze. Oh, here comes that I think Focross trying to make his way around as far as he can to the cap, but I think he's just get attracting too much attention at the moment. Now, tanks should be in in about 40 seconds, which is some quick looks. So the not the striker northwest, but I think he's bugged out at the moment. So that coming down. And frozen, just waiting for Marsenek just to poke his head around that corner. Such a nice take down there. See Sidhu in the distance there in that far field. Looks like Merck's leading the way again here. Twix, Kyoti, uh, Zega. Oh, Zega's just gone down. That's MCR taking Zega out a second time. So the tank is in play for the Russian team and my FPS has just dropped I've had quite a few issues on this map so apologies for this So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to find out where the... Uh, ah, there it is. 
Didn't see him all the way over there. So two tanks fighting on the very edge of the map. There's no tank support in terms of in the actual caps. Now, look, looking at the cap at Main Street Blockade, it's really open. I mean, there's only Fortress that's inside the cap. And let's be honest, if the Hazarian team Hazari team push in from the south, they'll be able to just walk straight in there. Right now, police station looks very busy both northwest and east. Got quite a few Wheel of Squad guys pushing in, testing the defences. Oh, and I didn't see those guys. That's a hab overrun in there. Can't even see where the hab is, to be fair. Ah, there it is. Nicely uh, <laughs> tucked away in there. Although Venom on radio duty. And Hasten is on his way down here. He's wandering. He's a combat engineer. Didn't know if Venom was awake there or not. He seemed like he, he might not have been there. Let's just have a quick check. Did he get a C4 down? Not sure if he did or not. The C C4 fuses have 30 second timer. Yeah, he did. He got the C4 down. He got the C4 uh, planted. He just didn't get it. Um, he didn't start digging it. So well done to Hazen there. CK41 coming in uh, along with Switchblade. Just as Venom starts to push in to, to repair that. Great teamwork there, well done, good cover. So that's uh, another fob gone, that's going to be 10 tickets, 270 tickets held by Hazaria. Wheel of Squad only with 213 tickets. And oh, Frozen, what are you doing? Comes in behind Link, but Link gets the, uh, the benefit of that, he manages to take out. He takes out Frozen. And look at this. Bowcross changing direction now. He was coming in from the northeast, but he's changed that direction. I mean, all they need to do is take out Fortress, who's possibly in the country. It's on the very edge, at least. Uh, police station looking rather secure right now, so we're just going to follow Focross as he comes in onto the next flag. Dalej potrzebujesz do mortary tam? Do 
Nie, wystarczy, dzięki. Dobra, ostatnie są ale... Weź się Darki Saudot, szkoły pełny skład. Zamarkowany jeden hełm. Sergeant Stone shot in the back there by Nave. Dobra, wale Mortary już tam. He's got nowhere to go. Does he make a run for it or does he just stay there for a sec? He's making a little run for it. And that rally... That rally still not burnt. Just not getting quite close enough to uh, to burn that black. Oh, taken out by Focross. Nice save there. I thought uh, he was, black was going to get the drop of these guys. Ooh, and, and Wheeler score coming in behind these guys. Head goes boom. Not getting over that wall, Tillo, unlucky mate. Had the drop on head goes boom, but head goes boom. Obviously just a little bit taller to get o shooting over there, over that wall. E Reg taken out Bow Cross. I'll bet you. Szymonu markował czołg Daryki Nord. Artyleria następna. <laughs> Dziękuję za markę czołg. Gdzie potrzebujecie Arty? Czy potrzebujecie pofensy Vietnam na Main Street Blockade? Tak, ja bym tego foba wyciągnął jak my możesz. Chyba, że Krakow potrzebuje w defie, to spoko. Nie, nie, możesz Arty. Na Arty And there we go. Nave getting up to the radio. Gandalf the Growl dead. Sergeant Stone still up, but he's got Corporal, uh, the Corporal coming to hopefully help him. Oh, Corporal Kiyoti dead. Sergeant yeah, Stone. I'm trying to take the first uh, stage down. And nice save there by Sergeant Stone. Right, let's have a look at police station. Looks quite busy over there. Station. Two tanks opposite, almost opposite at size of the map right now. Station. 
So, lots of Wheel of Squads starting to push in from the north. They've got the support of the Bradley there. In fact, there's not many Hazari guys here that are actually still alive. There's only, what, two, three guys, and two, uh, and one of them's outside the cap. So, this could be an opportunity for Wheel of Squads. Oh, there's another guy there. Linka, sorry. But this, this is an opportunity for Wheel of Squads, if they can, to try and push in and grab that cap. Yes. Marza dziesiątkę, puszować tam z risk questem? Nie, 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 walę mor 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 mortarami. Dobrze, napierdalaj go. Helka z mojej naleci. Gdzie ta Helka leci? Oh, okay. I was just thinking, we should be at a point now where the command actions are going to be available. And, yeah, the uh, artillery now in. I'm just hoping this doesn't uh, tank my FPS, but there we go. Look at that. Obviously, going after the radio. That radio is supporting Main Street blockade. Yes. Don't think that radio... Uh, the radio might have taken some damage now that the... I was going to say now the artillery was over, but it's not. Yeah, we can see there's some damage. Um, we saw earlier on when uh, one of the guys was trying to dig it down from Zarya that half the radio was stuck through the wall. Uh, obviously, you know, that's a bad placement by the, the squad lead. Nothing intentional or glitchy about it, but just really bad placement. And uh, yeah, that's where the damage has come from. Pojedyncze kontakty z Southwest od policji. Czołg chyba nad, na Southie, bo ktoś mi nad głową przyleci. Wracając do Tak. Czołg gdzieś na Southie. So, a, uh, they've managed to burn that rally eventually. Now, Hazaria really needs to make a push. That flag is open. There is literally not one single person in that flag. The question is, can they get three guys in it? It takes three people to cap uh, an enemy flag when it's uh, uncontested with no enemies inside of it. Naif Matrix making that move. It looks like Twix also making that move. We'll just quick look, 122 to 89 kills. So, Moxley ships does seem to be on the side of this area. And I don't know why, every time... So there we go, FPS just tanked a little bit. We'll just try and stay as still as possible. At least... So we've got artillery coming in on police station. Is that a creeping barrage? Yes, nice creeping barrage. Just a short one. So good, I love these uh, artillery barrages. Such a great addition. Anorax somehow managed to stay alive down there. Not sure how. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, that BMP. Is it going to get caught in the artillery barrage? No, it's not. Yes. 
Now the hab is down. The radio is. Nice and safe. Yeah, that radio is nice and safe. Although it does look like there's some Hesco walls there. And yeah, that, that hab going back up now. Now, police station was starting to be capped. It still is, possibly. No, there's not enough Wheel of Squad guys in there. Wheel Squad needs to just bum rush, get into the cap, and then they can start taking it. BMP coming in. Xenon nearly getting wiped out from that. Czy nasi mają czarny kolor skóry? Nie mam tutaj żadnych rasistowskich podtekstów. Nie, oni oni mają może no. And Azari should be getting into position where they'll start capping this back. Let's just have a quick look. Let's see what these tanks are doing. So we've got the striker floating around the police station as well. Oni pushują bezpośrednio nord od police station. Będą pushować bezpośrednio nord. Już puszczają dymy. Don't think the two tanks know that where each other is. Yeah, the uh, Russian T-72 just out of sight, I can see him. The commander should possibly be able to see him. He's coming towards us, so as soon as he starts going up uh, and elevating himself, then we'll, we'll see him. No, they're going away. Know how close they were to each other. Southwest. Oh, just as I move, just as I move, the Russians take a shot at the Abrams. Just keep an eye on the rest of the map over there. Looks like Tsar uh, Wheel of Squad. Still losing that hab, this app locate. Looks like the Azaria tank is just sat there waiting for them. There's a shot, it's missed. Oh, nice shot. That looks like a track. We've got the lats and possibly hats over there as well. Yeah, both tracks off, and that could be the end of the T 72 Moonshine and Gandalf in a very, very tricky situation. Nice shot on the Abrams, though. And uh, Gandalf Moonshine taken out by the Abrams. Great teamwork there between the infantry, although. Ooh. Says uh, Mion. He sees the hab. 
Gotowa strona mapy. Poprawnie markowany będzie wracał na maina. So that could be another fob that goes in a moment. So Rido squad very much outside of the cap of Main Street Blockade. Azari missing this opportunity just to get in the cap. I mean, I, I get that they're pinned down, but just, you know, a nice... Just another team, they've got nowhere to spawn other than rallies over there. And Azaria really pushing back, taking control of police station again. So, Corp Kioti, the only guy, apart from Matrix, sorry, I just saw him at the edge of the screen there, only guy alive. Um, oh no, we've got Focross actually, J.O. Poppin, they're engaged with uh, one type. Oh, we sandwiched, and there uh, go, Focross again, the drop on him. Oh, but he nearly gets taken out by uh, Nidic. And they trade. Jay Poppin came in. He's medic, so that's going to help because that'll get Focross back up and running. That gap's so empty. Mamy jakieś kontakty na warehouse. And looking back over at police station, looks like Wheeler squads getting engaged from the north, but just still holding it. Now, Wheeler squad just noticed down to 88 tickets. So, right now, um, sorry, 87 tickets now. So, they are pretty much halfway. Sorry, uh, sorry, I've almost got half the tickets that they have. So just over half. Finally going to get a fob. That'd be a great opportunity for Hazara. They they've been working off a rally uh, for so you know for quite a long time now. They definitely needed the support of a of some sort of a fob. Um, or certainly just some, possibly some more people. Tak. So Nave pushing out. Frozen was just oh yep, Nave news there. Frozen taken down by Nave. Good shooting. Each of these little micro engagements just seem to be really slow, <laughs> controlled. <laughs> A 
and these guys really getting pushed back uh, by Wheel of Squad onto their own rally almost. Still no one in that cap. But they are surrounded around the south side now, so there's not much empty space for them to come in from, unless they come in from the east. Across, looks like he was going to make a run across that road. Then change his mind. Back he goes. Oh, the SU-25 rocket strike, yep, exactly what I expected, uh, the blackened area of the impact and that has taken out the radio that was sticking through the wall, that's taken uh, another 10 tickets off, it's also removed the hab that was just on this south side, uh, somewhere around this building collection, so that leaves Wheel of Squad very exposed right now, they do have another helicopter coming in so they can get a quick uh, fob, possibly to replace it. But this is the time that Hazaria really need to push. And there we are. We've got three guys nearly in the cap. As soon as they push in, they're going to see that cap go in. Come on, get up there. It looks like Fortress might be getting back in the cap. Yep, Fortress is in the cap. J.O. Poppin needs to get in that cap as well, and then, uh, and then the cap yeah. will go to Hazaria. Can't want to shout out to him, turn around, but that'd be wrong. So, only two people in the cap, J.O. Poppin, Nave could be in the cap, could be helping. They could be capping right now, Fortress is dead. Fortress is dead. And they could be capping it if they had just one more person. Closest person now is Naif. The Habs overrun, J.O. Popping going for that. I get it, but you've got more guys coming in this way. Jappa just taking out one of the rally points there. Oh, Matty Mice and Matrix out the cap. Really not sure what's going on. Just so many missed opportunities there. And it's easy for me to say that, I'm flying around in admin cam and I can see everyone, you know, which way they're going, who, where they are, I can see that, it's very easy for me to sit here and, and say, wow, we need, you know, we need to um, push that cap, but, oh, I just always push people into caps in freeze, always do that. Mamy wrogie lodzi na Vineyardzie. Spróbuję z Gandalfem złapać. E, potrzebuję pomocy w szkole. Nie obronię tego swojego. And that had overrun. They need to find the radio. Not quite found it yet. And that's the tank over there. Oh, actually, I just noticed we've got some Wheel of Squad guys pushed over to school, and that's where the mortar fob was coming in from. I purposely avoided trying to not, not really pay much attention to it because I didn't think there was going to be, you know, push over there. And uh, yeah, look at these guys. That...
I'll take him down. Lots of um That would be an absolute pain to get through. Okay, so they're down they're taking that down. That's gonna be a ten ticket loss for the Hazario team. However, right now Wheel of Squad have fifty eight tickets. Ah, that's what the... I was looking to see what the BMP was shooting at. He's shooting a, a D-Log in that healer. And look at that. This guy... He's on... He's on it. He nearly had it. Alejandro <laughs> Oh. How close were they? Okay, almost. Just a couple more digs and that thing is gone. That would be another 10 tickets away from Wheel of Squad. Not, that, would, that wouldn't be good right now. It's never good to lose tickets, but especially when they're getting so close to, uh, to the end. And Azaria, it looks like they've managed to get their hab back up. Wow, what a nice pressure. They've managed to clear quite a lot of guys out there. Still a couple of them around though. Down to the final 50 tickets for Wheeler Squad. 48. That radio is gone, so good work there. Uh, Hazari losing 10 tickets. The radio up north looks like. Yep, that's getting rebuilt, so that's going to be okay. And right now we're just under. One hour into the game, 194 kills to 148, and the rise revised pretty much spot up, pretty much equal. Made the push onto that have again, but yeah, not quite managing to outgun the Hazari team. Black hole, police station. That Black Hawk's moving around a lot quicker. Xenon taken down, Focross doing a little wiggle as he's shooting. Tank shot going for the uh, 
We're going for the healer, I think. We're going, in fact, for the healing far away. So, still, the uh, the US team have their um, tank up. They, they could do some something use of that. They've got strike, you know, the 30 mils coming out. The uh, the guys still using the vehicles uh, in fairly close proximity. Looks like Focross uh, decided let's get in a different direction. I don't blame him. This direction is really now saturated on that south side with lots of Wheel of Squad guys. But one thing he does need to do is he really needs to push it just a lot quick, more quickly. All they need to do is get rid of Fortress and Nath shooting at Fortress there. He's not quite dead yet. MCR just about to poke his head out that wall. I was just wondering. Got to be careful that those mortars could actually get that radio if they uh, land just right. Oh, in fact, Focross is going towards them. Not sure where the A10 was off to. Uh, what he's going for? down and blackouts down as well for cross He's definitely going to hear that radio now. Oh, Tillo and Faux Cross uh, trading. Wrogi czołg jedzie kampić na maina, uwaga. My jesteśmy w BTR, co nic mu nie zrobimy. Czołg jedzie kampić na main. Kurwa, Sidu. So cap still relatively empty, it's got a couple more guys in there than it normally has had for the past, you know, 15 20 minutes or so. Uh, Pistol there and uh, there's more, uh, sorry, uh, Simon, possibly. Apologies if I'm butchering your name, but uh, yeah, they take out Looks like they've got rid of that fog, or no, 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 no. squad has taken it. 29 tickets held by We Love Squad. Azaria certainly uh, looks like it could take the first round. Oh, nice. A bit of smoke cover. Uh, that smoke's great to help Azaria get into the area, but it's also great for get, allowing We Love Squad to move about in it. Down there, Sergeant Stone by Joe Poppin. I was wondering how he shot him, and I didn't realize there's a little hole in the air uh, wall there. Right, 
Sorry, I just noticed the uh, hab radio had taken some damage. The hab is uh, disabled, so we can't spawn in on it um, right now. Yeah, we love squads. Again, it rebuilds. Twenty-four tickets left. Artillery of the stamp. Hello, check that. Zara, zara. Czy mamy jakiś na police station, czy nie bardzo? Nie. A na reakcję, to myślisz, że część swoich ludzi na blockade. So, radio back up. Nie wszystkich, część. Still not quite, actually. Not a problem, just... Taking this time. Pissed and taken out there. I'm surprised the uh, tank hasn't gone after the BMP. Not noticing this guy down here. Oh! Nice shot by Osmo! <laughs> Single tap, headshot. Solotov coming in. Close out, close out. Trust yeah, us, close out. Sure. Oh. And that BMP taking out Hastion again. Yes, he does. Kept him. Sorry, Corporal Kioti, uh, or. Yeah, Corporal Kioti taking uh, the, his revenge back. 12 tickets left. So, pretty much that tank needs to stay safe. The Hilo, only worth 5 tickets, but still, could be. Uh, yeah, only worth five tickets. The BT, uh, sorry, the um, striker and the Bradley need to make sure they stay out the way. And they cannot lose any radios whatsoever. Okay. Well, those mortars heading back out. Ooh. Didn't see that there's actually a uh, artillery strike coming in. I thought I heard it, but then saw the mortars. So they've taken out one of the logic trucks. That's taken five tickets off. That's taken them down to six. That radio is gone. They're down to one ticket. Now the radio is taken down. It looks like by the wheel of squad. They're down. Just one ticket left. Just looking to see if there's a, yeah Dandalf the Grau getting revived, so he's not gonna be that one ticket. So MCR is bleeding out. Hopefully he's bandaging himself.
No, Osmo's dead. Frozen. Yeah, there's quite a lot of dead guys over here. So it's going to be a case of whoever gives up or whichever person dies from uh, bleeding out. It will uh, end the game. Siduchog is on your marker. And Hazaria just going down to 95 tickets. Uh, kind of looks like they've just lost something. I'm not sure what they've lost, but they, they, looks like they have lost something to uh, take them down that far. So 92 tickets to one. And fair play to Wheel of Swell. If they, if they died, you know, just a few moments earlier, they would have... Uh, We've ended up having a bigger ticket number to, to defeat on the second round this evening. Just one more ticket. Osmo's getting revived. Nice work there by We Love Squad. They are certainly going after reviving their guys, and quite rightly so. You don't want to give up that ticket because, in the space of just this one ticket being there, you know, Azaria pretty much lost about 10 tickets. Jedziemy na Sauta. Trudno jest zwolnić troszkę atak, tikety nam trochę płyną. No ja już atakuję. Dobra, to się rozstawcie dookoła. Dajcie mi marki jakieś świeże, bo nie, nie wiem co jest dokładne teraz. We love Scott still being quite aggressive, pushing out. I think they're just trying to get as many tickets down. There's another two tickets gone from Hazaria, three tickets. They're down to 87 tickets, all resting on these guys. I mean, there's only one person still who's currently uh, dead at the moment. That's Quabo, uh, from what I can see. And if Quabo, you know, bleeds out right now, then that's end of the end of the game but there's a full squad moving down here just coming to support pro probably going for that revive so will Quabo die or will they revive him that is the question There's uh, Zion dead, Zloma dead, Super. and Pista. So they've got clear path all the way to Quapo, and it's just a matter of time. Wow. Such amazing effort from Wheel of Squads to ensure that they hold their tickets. That is already down to 85 tickets. Yeah, they need to get a medic on him. The medic is a lot faster at bandaging. Let's hope he doesn't bleed out. He's back up. Wow, great work there by Wheel of Squad. That's 84 tickets. We have squad doing an amazing job of just holding on to that final ticket. And I wouldn't even say they're being conservative. They're, they're, they're pushing into into areas. They're certainly trying to uh, to aggress. And there we have it, takes him down to 83 at the end. What a great start.
what a really great start for both teams. Uh, let's quickly grab some scoreboards. Okay, there we go. Ooh, great start. Uh, Zari played extremely well, and uh, well, let's be honest, so did um, We Love Squad. They managed to actually get to uh, get to one, you know, then Zari down to eighty-three tickets just on on one ticket. We're going to be taking a, a five-minute break now. We'll be back with round two of week number three. This is um, the delayed match from week number three, and we'll be playing that uh, very shortly, um, or the second round very shortly, uh, once we've had a quick break. See you soon, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back, and this is round two of Score Community Cup week number three of season five. We just saw Hazaria take the win, playing as the Russian team, and they managed to get all the way... Um, well, they didn't get anywhere, but they managed to take it all the way home with uh, 83 he ticket head start. So that, that makes them 1-0 at the moment. So, right now, we have Russian side down here. They go up to Vineyard, then over to School. And we saw a lot of fighting around Police Station, which is the central cap in the last uh, round. And then over to Main Street Blockade, which for Hazaria was quite open a lot of the time. Wheel of Squad not quite covering it all the time. They're getting dragged off the caps. And then you've got Compound before going up to the US Main. Now, US Main looks like they're taking all the vehicles. Those vehicles are the M1A2 tank that is not in yet it's going to be delayed for another 20 minutes so that's the abrams then we've got the m2a3 bradley ifv that is being taken out we've got a striker we've got three logi trucks a troop transport delayed after six minutes the mrap that's not being taken out so far we can just see it on the edge of the, the screen there and we've also got the helo which is now there from the b19 update having a look down at four wheel of squad they're taking out pretty much the same both teams doing exactly the same thing with the vehicles they've got a t72 tank sport delay spawned on two uh, 20 minutes then we have um the bmp2 uh, we've got the 30 mil uh, B btr the brdm2 sky car like i said just not being taken out the mi8 Helo, three Logi trucks, and the troop transport, uh, which is also delayed after six minutes. Now, I'm expecting a lot of fighting again around police station. I'm expecting those helos to go in. We Love Squad has an amazing, amazing start. They managed to get the helo all the way into the center of uh, the police station cap, which, if I'm honest, was absolutely great. Uh, the other team that we saw the other week, uh, sorry, uh, the other night, um, help, so high expectations low probability uh we're playing coalition francophone and they both were you know were ditching uh to the southeast northwest of the uh point and they had to then run in but what helped it was sorry what um we love squad managed to do is they managed to get into this point here right in the center there just on the road they landed they didn't lose the blades they got out they even came back to resupply another time so both teams now starting off. There they go. You can see them starting to move. We've got lots of marks on the map. Um, so it's going to be a case of let's see where everyone goes. I'm expecting to see the uh, helos uh, start to uh, come into view quite soon, to be fair, that they certainly get that advantage. And it's great to see the helos added to this map. So here we go. Let's get your comms on. I'm in a cast squad. Yes, I am. Okay. Done everything right so far. Okay, so the Hazaria Hilo gone to Main Street Blockade, and yeah, no, he's coming. He's coming, but so are the We Love Squad Hilo, and they're going in, in for it as close as they possibly can going to be quite hot under fire some good sh flying there now I think Azaria definitely given the, the game away with where they're going to be coming in from um, 
Pula squads are doing a great job to get themselves into the cap zone. Although Hazaria certainly uh, doing a little bit better by getting the uh, the helo so close. That helo is on fire though. Um, Hazaria actually, you know, getting the better shots. They're certainly shooting a lot better uh, at the moment than the Wheel of Squad. There's a lot more people dead for his for Wheel of Squad than Hazaria. Now, we're, we're concentrating on the south, but look at this. We've got Hazaria coming in from the northwest. A 30 mil taken. That's got to have been a hat shot. And that tow, you can see the wire, just the cable starting to fall. But yeah, they're certainly going after that um, healer like there. So great start. We love squad now seem to have doubled in size on this cap. Not sure where they came in from, but they're here. This hab's going to be so hot, so quickly. And there's the striker, taking some shots at the... Oh, nice shot on the striker. Striker's down. He looks to have the advantage right now. They've got up, they're up to 312 tickets compared to 290. It's always the case when you start capping these flags, you get some extra points. Just sound down a little bit because that healer is quite loud uh yeah time for that bmp to bug out he is on fire and he's dead oh wow that's a shame they didn't bug out quick enough so well played to hazaria in taking him out compound his cat okay so they're quite a little bit behind uh the russian team That helo still just sat there, engines going. Oh, we've actually got the mercs of Hazaria starting to push in. Oh, those mortars very close to that have, very close to the helicopter and to the radio. There you go, there's the Bradley taking out the helo, that's going to be a five ticket loss, that's going to spawn back in six minutes, so if they were hoping, if we just were hoping for something going on, and that radio starting to be here, so that means that the radio and the hab are now incapacitated. Such a great start by both sides, lots of action. And Wheeler Squad having lost their lead, they're down to 283 tickets, they lost the BMP, which is worth uh, 15 tickets, 10 tickets, 10 tickets, and uh, the tanks are worth 15 tickets, so they've lost that, that's 10 tickets, they've lost the uh, helicopter, that's another 5 tickets, they haven't quite lost the B uh, the 30 mil as far as I'm aware though, uh, oh yeah, maybe they have, yep. Yeah, they've lost the 30 mil as well, so that's another 10 tickets. So yeah, they, they, they lost that advantage that they had. It's only 5 ticket difference though, so it's anyone's game right now. However, this hab does need to be built back up. They've got to get that radio back up. And they can't because J.O. Poppin and Seth9 are digging it down. That's going to be a radio gone. Losing that radio is going to take 10 tickets off of Wheel of Squad, taking them down to about 270 to 272 tickets. Because uh, I guess some of the guys are going to give up as well. Main Street blockade capped by Azaria. Uh, so that means, yep, we can see the flashing red diamond around police station. That means that this cap is certainly under control of Azaria. Oh, wow. What a, a, a shame. Now, bloody hell. Um, Simon, I think his name is. Uh, again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing it. He's already over here at school. 
He's looking for that fobs and he's right near the radio as well. How the bloody hell's he go over here so quickly? Oh, that's kind of dangerous sticking through again. Whoever's putting these radios down in this in this kind of building, they need to be careful. They keep putting it through, and that's what how they lost the radio on the first Get round. I'm not sure what Ruddy is saying. Oh, they traded, they traded. Yep, shovel it. And there was C4 on it, and they got the radio down. Bloody hell, this guy's good. He's a great combat engineer. So, another radio down, they're down to 266 tickets already. Not a great start for We Love Squads, but, you know, can they push back into that cap? Uh, let's hope so. Otherwise, it could be a push all the way home. I mean, right now, police station is still being capped by the Azaria team. Uh, we Love Squads, they've taken control of this south compound, but they need to get pushing back up there. So let's have a little look. Have they got any? Oh, yep, yeah, healers back uh, in soon, hopefully. Enemy healers around. There's no one making a push for school from Hazaria, which I'm a bit surprised by because they have the the advantage here. They have this. I don't want to say steamroll, but they, they, they've just got this momentum behind them. I think is a better word. They've got this momentum. They they could go take that next flag. And I think that would really uh, cause a, a bit of confusion for the Wheel of Squad team. There you go, police station capped. That's 30 tickets, sorry, not 30 tickets. That's just a... Uh, can't remember, I think it's about 10 tickets uh, on the starting flags. So I think, think that they've just gained some tickets anyway. They're up to 331. Wheel of Squad down to 257. Such a great start for Hazaria. Are they going to keep this up? That is the question. There's no one pushing to uh, school yet. Let's just check that helo. No, I'm not getting that helo to drop people off. I'm hoping Hazari don't miss the opportunity to keep this momentum up. They could really, you know, steamroll the, on the next flag right now. But what they need to do is they just need to realise that they need to see that opportunity. And they just need to start pushing and commit to it. Oh, Ryus, I think, is on one of the radios. Yeah, this is a great position. Great position, gives you a bit of cover. So that's going to be another 10 ticket loss. Oh, uh, Simon heading back over there. And it looks like some of the Azari guys, Medved, uh, Kuzik, uh, Moonshine, Ka Kan or Gandalf, Gandalf it is, start to make that push across. the rally. Squad 5, has he noticed? Washington Nata, no, he's not noticed. 
Find the claws, not a school, oh. man, really right, Tillo might be coming back actually. Yeah, they've marked it. They know he's here somewhere. In fact, have they seen it yet? So we're going to keep an eye on him. He seems to be finding all these uh, fobs and halves quite nicely. Yeah, I see Zephyr. Yeah, In fact, Azara is starting to push down on another hab. Yeah, they've overrun this hab that Wheel of Squad had to put up just to deal with the. And that's that radio gone. Hab gone, radio gone, that's another 10 tickets. They're so efficient at getting these uh, fobs. And, you know, if, if any of you dance as well, they're thinking, wow, like, surely, you know, they, they can't be this good. I mean, right now, on the stream, it is literally just the, uh, you know, they haven't seen anything of the game. You know, stream sniping is obviously not allowed anyway, but they can't be stream sniping because it's only just turned into the match. The moment I just said that, it's literally just gone from the uh, the intermission screen to, to the match screen. So, wow. Great work. They must have a sixth sense for this. They must realize, right, okay, where would I put a fob? Here's a great place. Let's go check it. And they must have just a no, list of places. The they must spend so much time just looking for these fobs, watching where people come in from. They're just doing such a great job of finding them. I'd love to know their secrets, to be fair. Such, you know, such good gameplay. So, what's going on up here? We sit, hear some shooting, we hear 30 mil. And he's shooting at the helo. Now, the helo's definitely taking some damage. Let's keep an eye on him. Ooh, he's going to get back to main base, but that that's certainly uh, not a healthy situation to be in. We're coming up on uh, just under uh, three minutes until those uh, tanks are in the match. I mean, Azaria really could push this to school before these tanks get there, but they just need to commit some people to it. So Switchblade, Moggy, looks like they started to try and push um, back over to police station, possibly. Gandalf and Moonshine found and killed now, it seems. Schick mal noch einen mehr zu dem Radio. Vorsicht, A10, A10, A10. Achtung, Airstrike. Oh, Airstrike, right on the hab. And it's taking the hab down to sticks. Raddy managing to survive. Uh, he's commander, he's worth two points, so commander's now worth two points uh, rather than three, gives them a bit more ability to really start pushing in and be on the front lines uh, rather than hanging back as a bit more of a precious uh, asset so yeah they need to get that hat back up and this would be this is the time for Hazaria to really be pushing in um, but looks like they've not got people lined up ready to go they're not far off they are pushing up in on this south side And tanks in in 30 seconds. Uh, 
There we go. We've got one tank going out. And another tank waiting. Ah, it's waiting for Butter to come back. Butter was in the tank earlier on, so that would make sense. And Hazaria just really timed this so nicely. They're just, I mean, they're already kind of a quarter of the way of the map across. These helos being used as just, you know, lodging mules are just here carrying transport, um, sorry, supplies. That they they could be using these a little bit more effectively just to try and kind of hot drop people into areas um although the, that downside to using the the helos for for dropping people is, is the sound uh we saw it in the help game on tuesday um help dropped some guys off and, and just purely because of the helo sound the whole t you know the whole people on the group of people on the cap just pulled to the southwest to face where the helo is coming from so you've got a way up corporal uh, Kioti taken out there by Switchblade and CK41. Nice work there. Ooh, Derek taken out by one of these guys down here. Is either Twix or Nave. They're starting to take some ground now. They're starting to get close to that cap. Surprised they've not got um, a lat on that uh, vehicle, on that helo yet. And Pista, what's he doing? Ooh. This guy's just practically leading them to the to the radio. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Really not sure how I feel about that. So Simon and uh, Pista. Now is Pista a combat unit? Yes, he is. So between the two of them, they, they've been taking down radios really well. Simon has been, been a bit more noticeable. So now that is gone. Uh, e Reg just turns the wrong way. Turns the wrong way just as Pista starts to go over the wall. Uh, Again, Pista sneaking past. You uh, Reg just looking the wrong way. The no, he no, didn't see him. Neither of them have seen each other. Oh! Reg, yep, he's seen him. He's seen him. Now, we definitely know that the C4's been planted, because I heard it. Oh yeah, there it is. It's on the laptop keyboard. E Reg not making a push for it. Oh, E Reg actually been taken out by the guys down further <laughs> to the south. There you go, so there's the radio down to the last stage. Raddy down, and these mercs could move in to take take the glory of getting this radio down as well. Sergeant Stone he saved the radio earlier on, but not today. He's dead. Okay, we've got more guys coming in, so we've got Golden, we've got Navala, they're all pushing in. Hmm. Not sure why you'd uh, climb over the wall, but there we are, Fokra taking off uh, Golden. So it's down to Twix now. You froze a grenade. Oh, okay. Not a bad grenade, not a bad grenade at all. Dandal 
taken down. Oh, Faux Cross is still up actually. And that ha radio beam built back up. Another grenade, nice throw. Not going to do anything through the wall, unfortunately. And Navala taken down, so. And here comes Focross to support. Oh no, they're helping Twix up. That's oh, sorry, not Twix, Pista. Now, uh, the combat engineers do have a faster shovel, so their digging time is, uh, you know, I think pretty much double the speed. I'm not exactly yeah, sure on the exact it's time, but you can even see it. It's so much quicker. There we go. Almost down, and 10 tickets will be gone. The spawn point gone. There we go. Oh, no, not yet. Ruddy and Golden still pushing. In fact, Pista's dead. I thought that was a done deal, but Pista's dead. Focross can't dig it down. He's a squad lead, doesn't carry the shovel. He's just got to hope that he can hold off uh, these guys as they come in. Golden down. Oh, full cross down. So this could be uh, a nice save on that ha on that radio. Naif and Corporal uh, Kioti. Onto the main was up camp for the. Inf or the Fahrzeug and inf. Jo popping as well. Still up and about Tillo. Nice grenade takes out Jo popping. Ich korrigiere, es ist ein einzelner AE an unserer Main Base. Kein Fahrzeug. Oh, so. Head goes boom. So Joe Poppins down. That was from the grenade that Tillo put down. But there you go, Tillo's down as well. Grenades back at him. Look at this, the cap point is so open, there's no one in it. Hazaria again, just not able to, to get into the cap. What's going on? I mean... Oh, yeah, there's a helicopter there, but... Just, just lots of people fighting over random points, um, which is really bizarre. Right now. Look at this though, so open. Is that radio going or not? I don't know. Corporal Chianti, just go dig it down. Dig it down. Get the ten tickets. Is the LMG oben drauf? Passt auf. Falls ihr die Hauptbox. Oh, he runs round, takes the two guys down. Can't take them all down. He's got a bandage. That's good job. We probably didn't get over there for that because of that grenade. However, Nidjek managing to take him down. Why is there a guy that's dead? Not sure why he's dead. Maybe it was a, a long range shot, possibly. Quite a, a long open road. Yeah, it looks like maybe Nave took him out. But yeah, 176 tickets held by We Love Squad right now, 284 by Hazaria. There's plenty of opportunity to take that point, but Hazaria just sat here, just holding on. And it almost, to me, looks like Hazaria have gone, well, we've won the first round, let's turtle.
I hope that's not the case because that's just going to lead to a slightly boring game. But we love squad. Certainly uh, trying to take as many punches as they possibly can. Not sure what, what they're fighting over down here for. I mean, yes, there's a couple of guys, but. Stone, will you an or a Verteidigung damit aufs Goal gehen? Ey, wir brauchen halt wirklich eine harte Verteidigung, ist das Problem, ne? Wenn wir schon 1 und 7 da vorne sind. So the two tanks had a little battle up at the top of the map earlier on. But they're kind of just, you know, each going back, or have gone back to their own respective bases. Um, go keep an eye on them in a bit, see what happens. Äh, die Heavy AT ist bei der Main. Wo hatten die sich denn aufgehalten? In welchem Gebiet? Muss ich abklären, Sekunde? Na, so zu Polizeistation bei meinem Point of Interest hat der feindliche Heli eben was abgeladen. Da muss irgendwo ein Radio in der Umgebung sein. So, they've got the radio back, they've got it under their control, they've built it back up. Hopefully they're reviving everyone. Yeah, they are, they're getting everyone healed up. What is going on over here? Okay, Franny's digging it down, that's fine, I was just curious, see what's going on. So that cap, very open. Are Hazaria going to push in? That is the answer. Well, that is the question. Hopefully we'll see the answer in a bit, but I, I just feel that Hazaria just don't seem to be pushing. Strong, strongly, they're, they're doing a great job, but they're just not getting into those camps. Fighting all around them, which is great, but. Nice shooting there from Tillo, takes out Focus. Jay are popping. Oh, Jay popping managed to take out Tillo. Twix was down by Tillo as well. So good work all round there. Matty Mice helping. Schick mal den Hälschen mit nach vorne, der soll irgendwo Fob suchen, der soll dann nicht mit seinem Zepper irgendwelche Infanterie bekämpfen. Just as I get in position to look at what Hastings doing, he actually dies. But I think he took a couple of these guys out. Focross still alive. Just about. And he pokes his head out, dies. I think that might have been Sir Pat uh, Flanzalot. So Simon is the only one in the cap zone and like literally he is the only person in the cap zone for both sides. And that Hilo looking a bit worse for wear. 
Ich hatte aber auch nicht viel Zeit. Ich wurde von der Feinkette unter Beschuss genommen. So. Where's Simon? Is he alive? Is he dead? Where's he gone? Oh no, he's down there. Turn my back on him and he's just in trouble. Now, Hazari has got a slightly bigger presence over here, but again, still not in the camp. Wheel of Squad making a very good kind of just wall of bodies between Hazaria and the cap, but it does, they are leaving it open on some sides. Um, hope that when we well, just want to look at this review it they'll see that you know there's a lot of missed opportunity great more and mortars slightly bigger mortars should I say but great artillery called in S shame it's not actually wants to get to, to that radio because I think where it's clipping the wall then it could actually cause some damage Okay, we've got some smoke mortars, giving these guys some opportunity to get across this road, possibly. Again, let's hopefully push. And Focross making the push with the smoke. That's nice. Yeah, he's jumping the middle. Stutter there, sorry about that. And Golden taken out by Focross. He's going upstairs. And, oh, shooting at Borstonator. Borstonator getting a bit of a shot on Focross though. And here comes Pista. Pista now obviously the combat engineer. Combat engineer has the C4, the anti tank mines. And the faster shuttle. Kannst du mich anhalten? Komm, komm, komm. Komm. Wir können mit dem Kampf auch nicht mehr. Hier. CK41, just on the opposite side of that wall. Peekaboo! And he's got him! Just to take it out CK41 through the little murder hole in the wall. Also, westlich von euch. Oh, and look, this is what B19 brought in the dragon. So, pissed the dragon Focross upstairs to his bedroom. Hey, he's just dragging him up there to bandage him up, get him healed up, get him back into the fight. Bolston is, uh, is still up and over there. I'm surprised he's not seeing Pista's head there from that angle. Yeah. But Dandalf coming. Yeah. Little grenade would, would be perfect right now. Focross up. 
Oh, Raddy okay. taken out by Pista, Raddy being the commander for we love squad. Bolsonator spotted Pista. Nice little overlook there. Not the kind of place you want to be. This is pretty so nice. Where Focus is. Look at this body count. 98 tickets. There's a grenade. Nice. Pista caught onto that quite quickly. Taken out Budder as he comes up. And he's taken out. Pista taken out by. I want to say Borsonator. It's gotta be Borsonator. Possibly uh, so fans a lot. But nice work there. 95 tickets to 240. Let's have a little look over at police station. Um, school again. Look at it. Empty. Not a single person in the cap. And, uh, you know, it seems to be a bit of a habit of Wheel of Squad. So, police station, nice and clear. They've got a couple of uh, enemies. Uh, so I, say, I say enemies. Obviously, I'm on the Russian side right now. So, we've got uh, a couple of the team, uh, the Wheel of Squad team, pushing in from the north, but not really any great significant presence here. Um, oh, did he just crash? Yep. There you go. Bloody driver crashed. Oh, it's good fun, isn't it? Oh! That's one way to get past the uh, blockades. Now, actually, I'm just a curiosity, I can see that the Zarya tank is active. It looks like um, we Love Squad have lost their tank. In fact, it looks like their helos are taking a bit of damage as well. Willst du die Creeping drüber haben? Ja, ich markiere die noch schnell die Hubs, dann kannst du die einmal über alles drüber hauen. Ja, wenn ich wieder lebe, mache ich's. So the Abrams looks perfectly intact, doesn't look like there's any damage to it, but there is a burning wreck here. And yeah, that, that side of the... That looks like it could be the tank, could be the DMP, but it could be the tank. So 85 tickets held by Wheel of Squad, and oh, Hazaria actually getting up to the camp, Focross in it. Oh, so Wheel of Squad now. So. They must realize how empty it is. Wheel of Squad doing a great job of just keeping the them out of the cap just by keeping them distracted on the periphery of it. Look at this. You know, just plonk a little radio down, fob, hab, or even just a rally. Just put a rally down. Boom. Over a couple of courtyards, straight into the cap, and you know, just push the Wheel of Squad guys out of it, and away you go. You could even take the hab down whilst being in the cap as well. So it's a great opportunity for Hazaria, but they are certainly uh, missing out. I mean, they're in the lead anyway. They're currently in the lead with 229 tickets to 78. Looking at the kills, you know, you've also almost got well, you've got double the kills uh, for Hazaria. That's with 173, but the revives. Again, we just got just slightly in, in, ahead of the uh, Zarya team on the revise. Ne, die kommen von jeder Seite immer. Sind nur am hin und her laufen. No, Tillo's gone down. So doof wie es klingt, aber da liegt ein bisschen Stabilität da drin. Looks like uh, Zager and Yapper. One of them striking the other. Yep, Zager's uh, being lazy. He's just getting dragged around the map. 
And here comes uh, Paprik. Paprik of those. I must have heard him run then. Oh, Tillo's up and down. Paprika also down as well. I think they're a little bit annoyed. Oh, they sound kind of cheerful. Our colleague läuft Richtung circa Marker ungefähr. Das ist so geil, weißt du? Bleibst an der Cover, ziehst du durch. Das Radio wird gut zugebaut. So, 30mm B. Uh, BTR up and about. Down to 73 tickets. Ich weiß nicht, ob es komplett ist, aber da steht auf jeden Fall eine Hesco davor. Okay, aber Heavy MG nordöstlich von School, oben ist markiert, Vorsicht. Geht doch kein mehr, komplett unter der Hesco. Now, looks like we love squads. Definitely getting back into the cap, which is great. You kind of need one or two people there just to keep an eye on it. Make sure that they don't sneak in from what direction that, you know, you've left open, like this whole area here. But, oh no, they're pushing out. Okay, so that's good. Gonna surround it. That's always a, a good tactic. Try and surround the outside of the cap and hopefully as soon as they, you know, come from a direction, you'll kind of see where they're coming from. Yeah, RT sounds like it's coming in. So, oh, I've got to love the RT. It's, it's just so, so nice. And that, that Bradley getting the hell out of there. Absolutely, I don't blame you. Now this is a creeping barrage, so it is gonna uh, come all the way down to the hab. The hab is just there in the centre of the screen, just in between the trees. Uh, just next to that explosion. That's gonna probably take it down. The radio is surviving. It's nice and tucked away inside of a building. Yeah, that hab's definitely uh, in trouble. 51 tickets to reload squad. Ah, right, that's where it is. Sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Nice little uh, hiding hole. So, SEC rules say you can't place it inside, uh, you know, unreachable areas or certainly inside the Hesco walls or anything like that. Uh, although B19, I believe, has fixed that. Uh, I haven't actually played test it out myself but yeah certainly uh, kind of hides you can hide it but you can't uh, cover it up and uh, I that's what we're just checking for the radio noch verstecken unter der Hesco also an die Wand gesetzt die Hesco noch vor oh so it's just killed the commander that's not good that might be depends where he wants to go in fact, Golden and Red here on this radio again, and who is it? Oh, Yappa. Yappa has managed to get up here. He's in some funny pose there. But yeah, again, just like, I know it's only just a leg, but got to be careful with those pl uh, radio placements because when, when they start to poke through uh, the walls and clip like this, um, sometimes just a mortar will take it. Or even, uh, you know, the um, artillery barrage as well. So, cap is almost empty. Blitz are there, sneakily hiding in the rubble. But they have got a few more guys on this side. Hazari don't seem to be really kind of pushing at all at the moment, which is... A bit bizarre. They've got an 83 ticket lead, that, you know, right now. If, um, you know, if, if we love squads were winning, all they'd have to do is win with, you know, 83 tickets or more. Um, obviously, they don't know this, but we love squads certainly, uh, you know, not in a good place right now, ticket wise. And Hazaria have the flexibility, have the ability to, to really try and uh, push some of these caps a bit more aggressively. Uh, they just seem to be taking it. 
very casually. So we're coming up on just over 50 minutes in the so that's round two. And just a reminder, you know, if the game does go the, the full length, it will go to 90 minutes. We're only playing the games about each round for one and a half hours, 90 minutes. Um, we're not going for the full two hours. Ooh, you love squad. On a radio. Oh, he didn't build it back up, and that's a shame. Nick coming in. Oh, Black Blackguard managing to not s survive there. And the best thing sometimes is just to build these little uh, defenses back up. I mean, personally, if I came in here, I would build this back up uh, before moving in to take the radio. Sort of stone and fortress found out as well. Pistol down. My school radio was angehauen. So 50 tickets. Oh, and there you go. Oslo's just abandoned the cap as well. I mean, it's not, they've not got anything to worry about, but really, just it only takes three of the enemy team to cap that flag. Um, Ja, keine Chance, wir kommen da an und pieken einmal und sofort weg. Ah, right. We got some artillery. I think. can see the artillery mark, I'm just really confused as to why the artillery is there, because I didn't think it would have respawned in already. Yeah, there we go. Perhaps he'll get the radio, maybe. And there we go. Avala cowering away. Tillo, he's running, he's running away as fast as he can. Golden also looks like, oh, Tillo dead, Golden dead. Raddy needs to get safe. Raddy's taking the hit, and he's dead as well. I don't know how OWI can top that, that is amazing. Whatever command actions they bring out, artillery is always going to be the uh, the comparison. Now, as you can see, yeah, there's not enough there to cause damage. Not enough at all. Simon coming back into the cap. Oh, Matrix and Twix. Now, if they get into the cap, kill Derek as well, because obviously Derek's in the cap. That's going to stop them with just three people. They could. They could start taking it. Derek back out the cap. Matrix just needs to get in. Simon needs to stay in the cap. But I think he's going to go for that radio. Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's gone. It's almost like uh, th these guys just forget about the caps and just play around it and go for the, you know, the the uh, bonus content, shall we say? I mean, if the caps were the like the, the main story quest, the, these guys are currently doing all the side missions.
such an opportunity being missed again by Hazaria. 33 tickets to Wheel of Squad. Tillo taken out. Nafe is in the cap now. For all of two minutes, he's dead. Twix pushing in. Call for Kyoti. And not capping yet. Come on, guys. Get in the bloody cap. 30 tickets left. So if they cap this now, they we love squad to lose 30 tickets and Rosario will gain 30 tickets. But it doesn't look like they're just pushing. It's just. Yeah, they've got rid of Dari. Obviously, get your friends up, get your, you know, your uh, riflemen up. Let's get in the cap. Hold it, take it. Oh, Twix is down, Nate still holding on. So the time they get into the cap, that's when we love squad are there. I got plenty of people that could be just really distracting them right now, pulling them off the cap. Raiders not being attacked at the moment, Foe Cross dead. Not sure how he got there, but. So I can't see how many people are in the camp, but no, not enough people. CK, nice takedown there by uh, Kyoti there. He, he just waiting, lying down, and then CK runs out. Oh, takes out MCR as well. Not sure who Venom is. I he's a HSR player. Yes, he is. So it's, it's, it's the final push now, it's the final hold, really. I mean, there's no other fobs for Hazaria really to lose. I mean, each fob costing 10 points, or 10 tickets rather, if, if they were to take 10 tickets away. And looks like, yeah, Hazaria very much stopping their attack. There's no one over on the police station island right now. They're just holding off. And, and now we see that Hazaria are actually thinking, well, there's no one attacking. Let's push. Um, and I hope when they watch this back, guys, and, and to both teams, I, so I, I'm not trying to you know, uh, you know, have a dig at anyone's uh, gameplay. 
uh, or any tactics or styles. I, I'm literally just observing on what I see. I see a, you know a lot of caps that just get abandoned, not just by you guys, but by lots of people. And I see people just missing opportunities. And again, like I said in round one, it's very easy for me to just. Uh, sit here and go wow there's a missed opportunity that yeah it's very easy because i can see both sides and i appreciate that both teams they don't see uh the big picture like we can Now, uh, to be I, uh, I say recently, and probably uh, I think it was B18, possibly B17, but in the last couple of patches, they did add the, you know, leaning to the left and right can actually drain your stamina just to stop people from you know, spamming those keys. And uh, every time you do that, and every time you run, drains that stamina just a little bit more, and, and really starts to make the gun that li that little bit less precise, that little bit more shaky. Though sometimes I think they could uh, just tweak the numbers a little bit and just make it drain a little bit more stamina. Sometimes, certainly on the uh, certainly on the um, on, on the leaning, you know, left and right. And along came Tillo. Let's follow him and see what he's going to do. Matty kills Tillam. 18 tickets left. Oh, mortars. I haven't had some mortars for a little while. Had quite a bit of artillery. Doing, actually, ju I, I mean, I know they've not been in the cap, I've called them out on that, but we look Scott doing a really great job of just defending this cap. I mean, I appreciate you, Azari, haven't really given them much of a push, but they have been pushing. They've been prodding, they've been poking, they've been attacking the radio, they've been move, moving off. In fact, talking on radio, there's a guy that's dead over there. Um, he's, he's a Russian guy. But, you know, Azari. I don't know, I, I, it'd be interesting to see if Azari really went all in on the uh, on the attack and see if uh, Wheel of Squad could withstand it. They're certainly giving each other a run for the money and Azaria, as we can see, do have the uh, the better kill ratio. Um, but Wheel of Squad, very good on the revives. And 17 tickets, 17 tickets. And we saw what they did with just when it came down to one ticket. We'll keep an eye on how many tickets they actually managed to bleed up just with one ticket if it gets to that position. Okay, go for more to smoke. And Furibus also sending out his own mortars. Let's see where his mortars are going. So just aim him for the cab. And really, the, the cab is very, very empty. Probably be useful as if they could uh, kill Oslo on his mortars. Uh, 
Feind kommt jetzt südlich aus School, da haben wir nicht mehr viele Leute stehen. So then I'm making a push in. Linker I see above. That that's been just taken out by Venom there. They're not capping school. There we go, they're starting to cap school. And that's the end of the game. Just as they started to cap, I was getting excited. I was like, wow, they're about to cap. But no, not quite. Let's just quickly grab some scoreboards. Let's uh, go down to score four. There we go. Okay, those mods are still landing. Ooh, what a great game, guys. Really well played to Wheel of Squad. However, Hazaria do take the win. They get three points from today's match. Uh, one from each round and one for the final ticket count of 262-0. What a great game. Uh, Hazaria, very well done. Very well played. Um, some interesting... Uh, pushes or well not lack of pushes and equally for wheel of squads what great defense now next week we have some matches uh, coming up we've got a uh, coalition francophone versus your witnesses on the second that's the tuesday the second and i've got the wrong bloody let me just change the schedule second sorry guys i have got the wrong schedule up SEC schedule number five. There we go. So we've got Coalition Francophone versus Eurovco Witnesses playing on the 16th of June. That is next Tuesday. On the 17th, we've got Hazaria versus High Expectations, Low Probability. And on the 18th, on Thursday, we've got We Love Score Community versus Band of Bastards. Misfit Platoon and Rusty in Places get to enjoy a week off, so enjoy that. And they're going to be uh, playing on Countdash Advance and Secure V1. It's going to be some great matches. We'll be posting, uh, we'll have some streamers covering each of those matches next week. And hopefully, we'll actually, um, the week after, we've still got one match left for uh, Season 3. Yeah, so I think uh, the match that's still left to be played for Week 3, sorry, not Season 3, Week 3, which is the match we've played tonight, uh, is going to be played between Misfit Platoon and Band of Bastards on the 9th. So that's going to be in about three, four weeks' time. Guys, I've been a Motomirka. I hope you've all had a great evening watching some great gameplay here within the Squad Community Cup. I'll see you next week, hopefully. I'm going to be streaming one of those matches. And we'll see you next week uh, for some more action-packed games. Thanks for all the chatter, the follows, uh, and I think there's even a subscription. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next week for some more great games. See you soon.